Today, due to the change in the way of fighting, drones have become one of the important, vital, and valuable weapons in the armies of the world, especially in powerful military countries. Considering this and the significant investment in this field, the advances of the Islamic Republic of Iran's drones in the last three decades have been remarkable, and Iran's drones, especially in the last decade, have well indicated their high value in the fields of surveillance and identification and targeting. During the past years, Iran's drone power has been accompanied by a significant jump by focusing on the quantity and quality of unmanned aerial vehicles. Today, it is ranked first in the region and has a special place among the countries with drone manufacturing technology. In the classification of drones, they can be divided into reconnaissance, combat, and suicide. Suicide drones are among the new types of unmanned aerial vehicles, which have very limited examples among the countries that have the technology to design and manufacture drones. In recent years, especially during the Nagorno-Karabakh War in 2020 and the Ukraine War in 2022, a wide range of suicide drones have been used and have performed well. The Islamic Republic of Iran, in line with the development of various types of drones in dimensions and sizes, as well as various missions, has reached the technology of suicide drones for several years. Suicide drones have been displayed in the recent exercises of the Islamic Revolution Guard Corps and the Islamic Republic Army, the last of which was the large drone exercise of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army in early September. Among the very effective and high-performance suicide drones is the Arash drone. With the unveiling of the Arash suicide drone by the Army in the exercise of December 2019, which has a range of about 2,000 kilometers, the Islamic Republic of Iran made another world record in the field of special and modern drones. The Arash drone, which is a suicide and anti-radar drone, is known as the longest-range suicide drone in the world. This drone is more advanced than similar foreign drones and has significant capabilities. Arashuev, which is referred to as a suicide drone to target the radars of the enemy's air defense system, has the ability to attack the sensitive and vital points of the enemy in a precise manner. Arashuev, which is the developed type of Kyan series UAV, is very similar to Kyan 2 UAV in terms of shape, appearance and size. Arashuev is actually developed based on the Kyan series, and the Kyan UAV family has two members, the first one is called Kyan 1, and in 2014, the bird entered the combat organization of the Air Defense Force with the mission of being a target for testing radar systems. The Kyan 2 UAV entered service with the mission of anti-interception and attack on ground targets in the form of destruction in 2019, which is much larger than the original model. According to the announced information, Kyan 2 UAV has a range of more than 1,000 kilometers, and according to estimates, it uses a solid fuel booster and a turbojet engine. The Arash drone is almost the same in size and appearance as the Kyan 2, but there is one big difference between the two. In addition to its destructive ability, Arash UAV has the ability to suppress air defense. No detailed information has been published about the accompanying systems of this drone, but it seems that radar wave receiving systems have been installed inside this drone, and it can detect and attack the target by creating a radar detection mode. Also, the Arash drone, unlike the CAN series, uses a propeller engine. And
the first large-scale army drone exercise in January 2019, Arash's destructive drone was launched from the coast of Makran, and after traveling a distance of about 1400 kilometers, it hit its target in the general area of the exercise in Semnan province, which is very remarkable. In this exercise, the Arash suicide drone was launched from a portable container on commercial vehicles, which leads to an increase in the mobility and movement of this drone during stealth. After this successful test, Vice Admiral Mohamed Massavi, Deputy Chief of the Army for Operations and spokesman of the Army's drone exercise in 2019, said about this drone, with the efforts of the experts of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army, the continuous flight of the Army's destructive drones has increased up to 2,000 kilometers. Reaching the range of 2,000 kilometers in a suicide, anti-radar drone has made the Islamic Republic of Iran the holder of the longest range of these UAVs in the world. In the Zulfikar 1400 exercise, in a quick and accurate operation, the Arash suicide drone of the Army's ground force, by traveling a long distance from the origin and hitting the designated point, showed the accuracy of Iranian drones in the battle scene.